Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, praise be uh, to the Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, this reading is for Wednesday, December the uh, 12th, the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman uh, clothed with the sun, uh, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. The Collapse. O God, Father of mercies, who placed your people under the singular protection of your Son's most holy mother, grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the way of justice and of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one a God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Zechariah <clears throat> 2, 10 through to 13. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion, for lo, I will come and dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day and shall be my people and I will dwell in your midst. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all people, before the Lord, for he has roused himself with his holy dwelling. A reading from Revelations 11, 19, 12, 1, 3, 6, and 10. In my vision, a God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. A great portent appeared in heaven, and a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Then another portent appeared in heaven, a great red dragon with seven heads and seven horns and seven diadems on its heads. Its tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child so that it might devour her child as soon as it was born. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who was the to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was snatched away and taken to God and his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. Responsorial Psalm, You are the highest honor of our race. O daughter, you are blessed by the Most High God above all women on earth and blessed by the Lord God who created the heavens and the earth. You are the highest honor of our race. And your praise will never depart from the hearts of those who remember the power of God. And may God, I grant this, to be a perpetual honor to you and may he reward you with blessings. You are the highest honor of our race. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for you are firm believing that the promises of the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia. The Gospel from Luke. Luke 1, 39 through to 47. And Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted uh, Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me that my 
the mother of my Lord comes to me. For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, And my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in a God and my Savior. Yeah. Amen. So here you see uh, the reading here for Wednesday explains to us exactly uh, step by step uh, uh, everything towards the nativity. And uh, uh, here in this particular reading uh, from uh, Luke, um, uh, Elizabeth is, is greeted by our Holy Mother Mary and uh, the child in her uh, leaps. So it's a wondrous occasion and uh, this is a time that uh, John the Baptist paves the way for uh, the uh, very, very special uh, moment to come in, in uh, you know, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So always remember to say your prayers uh, keep in mind uh, the people that are less fortunate than us and that don't have that many things you know as you see jesus was born in a stable you know there was no room for him anywhere uh there was but uh, it's monetary that's why the you know the the, the poor people uh, today they shall inherit the kingdom of god so uh, remember to go to your churches on Sunday or your meetings and always say your prayers. Keep the Ten Commandments. Don't uh, smoke, drink, or take drugs. And uh, stay away from gambling. Uh, stay away from all bad things. Don't swear. You know, uh, obey all the laws. Uh, it's a time that uh, this is a time, uh, Christmas time is a time of peace and of joy and of us expecting uh, what we are part of. Jesus is us. Jesus is in us. So when he is born, uh, we uh, renegotiate with him uh, living living in this world and, and thank him for all the beautiful, beautiful uh, things and, and, uh, that are, are to come. So praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember always, number one, Jesus. Thank you.